this is one gate valve this is the gland packing area this is gland flange this is eye bolt and this is the bus let us open it this is gland flange now i am removing gland flange and eye bolt like this this is the bus this one is bus now if i shift the bus then this is the packing this black portion is the graphite packing this one after use of certain period there may be leakage through this gland packing so we will have to replace the gland packing now the valve has been designed in such a manner that the replacement of gland packing is possible when the valve is on and pressurized fluid is there inside what we will have to do we will have to make this valve fully open and fully open tightly this is the wedge and when we make the valve fully open then actually this is the back seat this is the back seat and this is the stem so in partial open condition fluid may enter to to this gap and leakage may be there through the gland packing but when we open the valve fully then the stem is having taper portion at bottom this taper portion will be placed in this back seat this is the back seat this side is this side is seat inside and this is called back seat so for replacing gland packing online we will have to open the valve fully and tightly i am opening the valve fully now now this is going up now the valve is about 80% open but still the gap is there now this is the back seat this one and this is the taper portion of stem bottom now i am opening the valve fully like this when i open the valve fully and tightly this taper portion of stem sits tightly on back seat and there will be no chance of leakage through here so for replacing packing we have to first make the valve full open and full open it tightly so that there should be no leakage through the back seat to gland then we replace the gland packing we remove the old gland packing and provide new gland packing here then after providing the new packing we press the bus then with the gland flange then we mount the gland flange and eye bolt like this
so now packing is compressed with the gland boost and gland flange will press the gland boost so online changing of packing has been done now say this is one globe valve this is the gland flange this is gland boost and gland packing is here suppose we want to replace the gland packing so for replacing the gland packing we need not to close the valve we have to make the valve full open then we can replace the gland packing now let us see valve inside now this is the disc let us remove the disc now this is the valve stem stem design of the valve is such that bottom of stem is tapered and this is the back seat so there is a gap in between stem and back seat and fluid can go through it and leak through the gland but when we make the valve full open like this then this stepper portion will press the back seat like this now it is fully closed now we can remove the gland flange and boost and replace the gland packing so for gland packing replacement we have to make the valve fully open tightly so that stem bottom will sit over the back seat tightly and there will be no leakage from here to the gland portion for this type of ordinary gate and globe valve we remove this gland flange first then we remove this gland boost and then we provide here rope type graphite packing rope type then we press the gland boost and then press the gland flange and tight it with the gland flange so boost is tightened and new packing is tightened and replaced now this is one cryogenic gate valve this is the extended bonnet let us open the body bonnet joint this is the gland gland packing is there inside at the bottom of the stem this stepper portion is there when the valve is fully opened then this stepper portion will press this back seat and there will be no leakage from this towards gland now i am opening the valve this stepper portion is going up now this stepper portion is pressed with the back seat so now the valve is in fully open condition and fluid will not be able to go from valve body inside to the gland portion now the valve is in fully open condition this is the gland nut and this is the boost and this white one is the packing gland packing this is the gland packing to replace the gland packing for this cryogenic valve we have to first remove the hand wheel like this then we remove the gland nut 
then boost and all these and remove the packing this is the ptfe packing actually this is one o ring then we again mount the new packing like this then gland boost like this then gland nut like this and then finally hand wheel like this so gland packing of this valve has been replaced in this way we can replace gland packing of any gate valve or globe valve online that means while the valve is under operating condition